LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard. Alright, so with this video we're going to show you how to insert your key onto your keyboard. And you're going to start out by looking at the keyboard itself. It comes with two large hooks at the top and two smaller ones at the bottom corners. But you have to look at your different keys because sometimes they can be switched around. The large ones can be at the bottom or maybe to the side. And the position for those metal hooks on the keyboard determine the position for the hinges, which are these. So there's three steps that we're going to take in order to get your key onto the keyboard. The first one is um, to click these two hinges together to make one. Then we're going to insert that onto the keyboard. And finally, the keycap goes on top of that. So we're going to determine the position for the large piece first, which is this. And you can see that in the middle it has two pins going in. Those are going to click onto the small piece. Um, at, the at the top corners it has two smaller pins. And at the bottom it has two larger pins. Um, the large pins go wherever the two small hooks are. In this case, they're at the bottom, so that's how we're going to face the large pins. If the small pins were, I mean, the small hooks were at the top, then we would flip this over in order to match the position. In this case, they're like that, so we're going to position it like that. And make sure not to put this whole piece upside down like this, because it looks the same, but it won't allow the mechanism to work. So what you have to do is feel or closely look at the bottom bar here. If you feel it's discontinued or it's, it goes thin, that faces away from the keyboard. If it's just one smooth piece, that's the part that faces the keyboard. So now you know this goes wherever the two pins are and the flat smooth piece uh, faces the keyboard. So that's the right position for that piece. Put it down for now and you get your next piece, which is this. Now this one has two large pins at the top and a, uh, the small ones at the bottom. Same thing. Uh, you want to flip it if the small hooks are at the top. In this case they're at the bottom, so we're going to do it this way. Now make sure not to put this piece upside down as well. By You can look at the middle and if you see that it has holes or fittings in the middle, that part faces the keyboard. On top, you won't be able to see those fittings. So that faces away from the keyboard. Now you know the position for both pieces. You want to put the small piece over the, the large piece. and. You, you need to insert the pins that are in the in the middle of the large piece onto those holes or fittings that are in the small piece. So just click those and now both pieces are one. What you want to do now is insert the uh, pins that are at the top of the small pin uh, piece underneath the hook that are, you know, the large ones. So go ahead and do that. Then you hold it down so it doesn't come off. What we have to do now is put these pins that are at the bottom underneath 
those two metal hooks. So you want to stretch the hinges in order for the hooks to wrap around those pins. Just, you know, stretch the hinges and glide them down as much as you can until you, you, you can physically feel or just see the, the, the pins go underneath that set of hooks. After that, you get your key and you put it right in the center and push down evenly on all four sides. There you go. Now for the larger keys, it's the same mechanism and the uh, same procedure as well. Only thing that changes is this wire that goes behind the keycap. So you can see this is the right position for the keycap and we're going to flip it over this way in order to work on it. Don't flip it this way because uh, things will get confused. So flip it over and you'll see it has fittings at the very bottom. It has one at the corner on the left, one at the corner at the right, and then one in the middle. Those are going to grab onto this metal wire. You just want to put the wire in between those fittings because there's two that allow the wire to click in. Then assuming uh, you already clicked the uh, hinges there with the first step. We're going to open the wire like that and put the wire around or inside those two metal plates that are to the left and right of the hinges. So put that wire in on one side, then put the wire in on the other side, and then just lay down your key and click it in on all four sides. Same thing for the space bar, which is the largest. You just want to insert that. This one has two hinges and the rubber cup in the middle. Now, the wire goes at the bottom also, the very, very bottom. And it's the same procedure. You click the wire at the fittings that are lowest on the keycap. Then you put the wire underneath those metal plates, click the uh, key cap in, and that's it. LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard.